been uh, up to lately in terms of uh, you know recording and uh, touring? And I haven't, haven't been doing any, doing any recording lately. Uh, not not for me. I've recorded Toronto Cannon, Mississippi Heat, and uh, uh, John Mayall's band. I played with those guys. I guess they're the Blues Breakers. Right. I, I did. I'm doing a CD with them also. But just mine, uh, maybe in the fall. Okay. Well, you say maybe in the fall with your band or with the, you going to collaborate yeah, with some other uh, folks? Or what's no, going with my band. Okay. With my band. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, what is VCD? I see. Um, are you writing new material for it now? Do you have some stuff in the vault that you have released, or what's happening now? All kind of stuff, man. I, <laughs> uh, you know, if, if something good comes to me before I, I do the session, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. T tell me who else you like out there. Who's who's? Uh, well, first of all, who some of your major influences when you were growing up and you were learning guitar and all that? Who are you listening to? Uh, Albert King, nice. Lil Milton. Listen to Otis Clay, sing, uh, Tyrone Davis. Uh, yeah, most of the guys that I listen to, they all gone. The only one left, Otis Clay. Right. Johnny Taylor and all those guys. I, I was curious also, like, what do you think is the most important part of what a blues band does? To play it or to sing it? Uh, both for equally is important, you know. Uh, to me, okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't believe in being only a soloist on the guitar. Right. You know, I can turn around and play with anybody that's currently out here. Right. And actually, play their material. You know. Right. Um, that, that's what's important to me: being able to do the whole, the whole deal, sing and play it, and also accompany people. Okay. What's? Uh, are you based here in Chicago? Yeah. This is. Home base for me. Okay. What's the scene here like in terms of the blues? Is it changing? Is it pretty much uh, still the way it was before? Or? Not the way it was before because there's not money floating around like it used to be. Mm. Uh, but it's it's still a, a vibrant scene here. There's a lot of places that play blues and there's a lot of blues bands here. Right. Is it, is it hard to get gigs or hard to get make a living at it now, or what's uh, what's happening with that? I, I imagine it could be pretty hard, but that's, 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 that's my job. Right, right, yeah. Um, is there any of the young blue guys, blues guys who are out there now, like the guys you were watching coming up along the ranks? Are there any of them that you you would like to play with, or that you that you find interested, or? Uh, Eric Davis. Okay. Most of these guys, man. Uh, most of the guys that, that you look around and see, I don't, I don't know how they twist what they're playing into blues. I don't know. It's pretty much like 1973 rock to me. <laughs> you know, right. Um, you know, it, there's nobody playing a, a, a pure signal in there. Right. All modified and whatever, you know. Right. Uh, I don't go and watch it if that's the question. Right. If they don't happen to be on the other side of the stage or only the format, I don't know where they But there's not a lot to make you want to leave home anymore. You, know? you just go see people play like Albert King, D.B. King, and Lil Milton and all those guys, and you want to go home at 4 o'clock in the morning and right. rehearse, but that ain't happening now. Oh, okay. So, so you're doing a whole winter period. Uh, 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 